Hi, welcome to Dishonored Death of the Outsider. I almost forgot the game was called that. This is mission one, one last fight. Uh, it starts off in the Dreadful Whale. Dreadful Whale. Uh, there's a couple of contracts right in front of you. We're going to do a stealth run through, getting all the collectibles um, and taking out all the people. Uh, I'm aware that you can uh, let Dowd take them out, but I figured it was more fun uh, to do it another way. So I found that note, which uh, led me on a merry goose chase the first time I played it for about 20 minutes trying to repair the ship. I don't think there's much you can do there. Um, in fact, there's not much, so far at least, of the Dreadful Whale that is explorable. Anyway, take the carriage when you're ready, head through here, there's a wolfhound and a book you can read. Smash that through here. Uh, there's some copper wire on the left for your first ten coins. There. And um, we're going to get all the coins as well, I managed to find them all somehow in this mission. Actually, it's not too bad, it's quite a small area. The next one, not so much. But choke this guard out and then drop him somewhere safe. Now we're going to have to do quite a lot of body hiding in order to avoid the bodies being seen. Um, through here, smash that, and there is another copper wire there just on the left. That brings us up to 20. I'm not going to be able to keep the count up properly, but there's two more guards down here. Now wait for them to finish their jibber jabbering. Um, and then when they're done, drop down and knock uh, the one nearest you out. Um, try not to knock the one furthest away out, like I did there, because <laughs> the other one will obviously see you. So target properly, try maybe save before that. Uh, then get the other guy when he's over here. Uh, and again, don't forget to stash the bodies, because at the end of this, uh, there's going to be a few more guards around here patrolling, which becomes a bit of a nightmare uh, if the bodies are there, because they'll see them, obviously. Uh, so I put one back up here. You can actually put both uh, here um, in this little room where we got the second copper wire. Uh, I'm just force of habit tells me to put them high to prevent like rats eating them, but I don't think that's happened since Dishonored 1, honestly. Um, it's more a blood fly issue. There's a map there you can grab as well if you're after the completionists. Completionistness. If you want to basically fill all the maps. <laughs> anyway, we're also going to head up into the bookmaker's uh, apartment in here through this door. And the bathroom here is a great place to stash bodies. There's a bathing salts in there that I completely ignored, um, but we'll swing by back that in a second. Don't miss the bone charm. Um, I'm not going to be using any bone charms except agility. Uh, bone charms are generally random, although I've done this level four times now and I always got agility in the same place, so I'm assuming it's going to be the case for you. Apologies if it's not, but there's a key there by the door. Uh, and also the safe. Um, we'll find a clue to open the safe later, but it's basically the number of books above the dude's desk, which you can see is 451. First I thought it was 423. It's not. It's 451. I just uh, don't have very good eyes, but there's a huge amount of coins and a health potion in there. So grab all that. Uh, some grapes, a pistol, and then some more coins on the desk along with the pouch there. Uh, and you should have 475 coins on the way out of here. Uh, you'll see I check here and I'm on 460 and I was like, oh, what am I missing? And then realized it was the bathing salts from the bathroom. Come on, come on. No, no, but yes, there it is. Okay, so uh, once you're clear of there, there's another key in the um, bucket or the basket just outside here. Uh, which we'll grab in a second. But when you're done through here now, the play your way alert. There's one, two, three, four, five, six people in here, maybe. Um, and we're going to take them all down. Uh, you've got to be a little bit careful in the order that you take them down, otherwise they'll aggro if any of them see. There's a coin of five up there. Um, initially I was stashing the bodies up there, but the guards see them at the end. Um, so come up, get this guy. He isolates himself. Pickpocket him. He's got a heavy pouch, or a light pouch, sorry, with ten coins. And then stash the body somewhere out of sight. You don't need to take it back into the um, bookkeeper just yet because someone will see you carrying the body. Then we're going to come up past these two guys who are talking and wait for them to finish. Uh, so just take your time here. Well, then take your time. You're going to wait. <laughs> That's all you can do. Uh, then when the girl comes up here, turn around, uh, choke her out. Make sure the pillar is blocking line of sight with everyone else. Don't pick her up and then put her down because she'll probably, well, she smashes the bottles anyway, but every time I've picked her up and put her down, everyone seems to notice. Then the chap that she was talking to has isolated himself, so choke him out as well. Make sure the civilian who is doing the brushing is looking away from you. Um, you should have plenty of time. She tends to spend quite a lot of time facing away. Then come up and get the girl here, the lady. Uh, she's got some coins on her, um, so don't miss those. Uh, 30 heavy pouch. And then finally pick up the civilian. 
There we are. And then when you've got all them, um, we are going to just stash all the bodies back in the bathroom in the bookmaker's apartment. Now, cleverly, I missed the very first guy that we uh, took down because I'm a genius. Excuse me, I'm just gonna have some coffee. It's very early. Mmm, delicious. Uh, so, um, yeah, I put all them there. But uh, yeah, I completely forgot to pick up the guy on the right. Uh, so when the guards at the end come out, they see the body. I was like, I was sure I stashed him, but no, I did not. Anyway, when you're done with them, head in here. Now you can talk to this lady, give her a hundred coins. She will open the door for you, which takes you through to the area for the first contract. But really, there's no need. Um, you can get the money back off her as well. Uh, but in the meantime, I think she's got 10 coins maybe um, on her and there's a copper wire there as well. Maybe she doesn't. Sorry, I completely missed it. Now down here, there is a pouch on the desk, on the desk, on the bench there. Um, there's some bathing salts there. Uh, there are some other bits and pieces washing around bathing salts. Tivian pear. I think there's a heavy pouch or no, just a regular pouch. Uh, a note, um, some jelly deals. I noticed Eurogame has launched a site called Jelly Deals. Um, presumably like deals which make you jealous. I don't know. Uh, up here, bone charm. More copper wire. Um, and uh, an electrical burst. Sorry, my frame rate's ditching a bit in the preview, but um, yeah, we'll work it out. Uh, I just did another quick sweep around here in case I'd forgotten anything. There's a book, but not much else. Now, heading up here, take a right, uh, and we're going to go into the room that the lady in the front area would open for you. Now, careful through here. I have an electrical burst ready. There is a guy wandering around in here, so just be ready to shoot him as soon as you see him. He might be on the table by that hooker pipe. He might be wandering back and forth. But as long as you get him before his bar fills red, uh, you're going to be fine. Check your stats if you're in any doubt. Um, and thankfully I didn't get seen. He's got a key. Uh, so smash up all of those uh, rat elixirs, I think they're called, and then open these two drawers, which took me forever to find. Very sneaky. Uh, and there's a bone charm in one of those two. And we're back to the old problem of just missing a coin and opening and closing drawers and cash registers. But you'll see there, industrial espionage complete. Hurrah! There's banana, uh, health elixir, there's a cash register, some coins on the desk, uh, on the table, some coins on the countertop, uh, and we'll come back and grab the cash register in a second. Now, um, we're going to clear out everyone downstairs. Again, this isn't essential. You can just free Dowd, um, and he will deal with everyone, and it's kind of fun to watch him destroy everyone. Uh, but stash the bodies. Make sure you open that door behind you. And what happens is you chuck a glass there, that will alert the people downstairs. If you haven't opened this door, they won't have a path to be able to get up here. It may take two or three goes, um, two or three glasses to get them going initially. Uh, the first one doesn't tend to actually make them come up, but you can see down there. Uh, they're just sort of wandering around at the moment. They're like, ooh, is that noise? What's going on? So head back up, grab it. There's so many things to throw in this area. Um, you shouldn't run out, but just save. Uh, in case somehow you manage to get through every single piece of glass in the area. Um, and there you go, eventually they'll start running up. Run out to neutral territory and literally just wait for them to come to you and then choke them out as they walk into you. Um, carry the body, put it back with the others, there we are. And then same again. Um, and just keep doing that until no more come. I think you get three or four of them uh, to come up here, basically the near side uh, of the room. One of them will have a note on them talking about a bone charm, which is the agi uh, agility bone charm. I um, mean, it'll give you a marker, but we're going to get that anyway. But it's a nice little optional objective. Uh, but you can see there, we're pretty much done now. I don't think there are any more. Oh, no, one more coming up. Chuck it a little bit to the right. This was the girl. I oh, know the dude who was uh, working out, I think, by the punch bag. Or at least talking to the girl by the punch bag. Anyway, drop that there. Um, don't forget the cash register. A few coins in there. Um... And I think we chuck this, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There aren't any more people coming through here, so head back down that way, shut the door behind you. There we are, and we've pretty much cleared this side of the room. There's one, two, three by the boxing ring, one dude by the bar, and then a bookkeeper and his bouncer. Now you'll notice the bouncer has turned around, and he's going to head up on a bit of a wander. So we're going to go and see him. So get back to where we were throwing the glasses. Crouch, head around to the right. Now watch out when you go through this door because there is a woman on patrol uh, through the next door. So when you jump up here, just be wary of her seeing you. Um, and then drop down here. The guy, the bouncer, should come up here very shortly. You may have seen a glimpse of the woman on the left-hand side there. Um, but get down there, choke this guy out before he gets into line of sight. Um, I pick him up just to loot him. 
uh, but then drop him straight back down and we're going to jump back up um, and deal with the woman Oop, try not to fall off again deal with the woman here I should have really grabbed the agility bone charm um, while I was there but I knew that the bouncer was going to come around pretty quickly anyway uh, sneaking around here make sure that the woman doesn't see you uh, she can see up on these pipes and because you've got your back presumably against like an opening she will detect you pretty quickly uh, but anyway, wait for her not to be looking at you. Choke her out, um, grab her pouch of coins, and then, yeah, see, I thought I had agility. And then just stash the body somewhere safe. There is the agility bone charm, so open the vice, it'll fall down, grab it. Um, I'm not going to use any other bone charms because they're random, I think I mentioned this, sorry. Um, so we'll get away with this, but it's a shame because the bone charms in this are, well, almost entirely the source of upgrades. Um, but because it's random, like the first time through here, I got bloodhounds. Bloodhounds? Um, what are they called? Uh, how? You know, the hounds. Um, won't be able to sniff you, which was awesome for this bit up here because it's actually the trickiest bit. But I didn't equip it. Anyway, up here, uh, completely went the wrong way there. And stashed the bouncer's body in there too. Um, there is a uh, hook mine in there, I think, as well, um, along with some whale oil. Don't miss the electrical bursts there. There's a copper wire up here on the right and some more electrical bursts if you've run out. Um, and then into this room, there's three more hook mines uh, and some more electrical bursts and, and a health elixir and a couple of overseers hanging from the ceiling. Now, in through here, um, the easiest way to do this is to look through the keyhole. If you open the door, there's a very big risk that when the guy comes to sit down, he will see you. Um, and get alerted and just cause all kinds of problems. So just look through the keyhole, wait for him to do his thing and go and sit down and then you can open the door. Now be careful in here. So there's Jeanette who has the key which opens Dowd's, um, which opens the control panel to Dowd's release mechanism. Three, I want to call them bloodhounds but not bloodhounds. Uh, three hounds on the right. Why can I not remember their names? Uh, wolfhounds. Yes? No? Um, anyway, uh, shoot Jeanette when she walks over to the doorway then immediately shoot the guy sitting down they shouldn't see you um, but check your stats just before and obviously save just uh, check your stats afterwards and save just before and you should be fine now you wolf, wolf hounds shoot the hounds why can I not remember their name shoot the hounds through there try and get a headshot if you don't there's a very uh, good chance they might see you you can see that bar filling up there um, as long as you drop down before it goes completely red you'll be fine but you can kill these guys you can kill hounds without uh, it causing actually uh, assassinations which is good anyway when they're down um, you can push that button to get in there and we're gonna wrap up the second contract Wallabone raw Wallabone Wolfhound it was a wolfhound why did I think that was so complicated anyway uh, run back to where we took out the bouncer it's all the way down this corridor and then head around here to the left and to the right open that door don't push the button yet. Open the door, toss the wolfhound in. This is straight out of uh, cracking the slab, those things. But I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, get the electrical bursts as well. Um, refill your supplies. There we are. Um, but that's the second contract done. Now in here we're going to stash the bodies in where the overseers are. So in there. And there's the health elixir, which I missed the first time around, and there's an electrical burst, but I'm kind of full at the moment. You can use the chloroform bottles too, if you want. Um, yeah, up to you. Coins on the table. Uh, don't miss the one behind the tumbler. There we are. And a hag pearl, uh, and instructions on how to use hag pearls. There's Jeanette, uh, so get her. You'll get a bone charm, power slash I got, and uh, Jeanette's key. Uh, then in here, there we go, drop the body. And then we're going to do pretty much the same from this side. There's an ivory scrimshaw there, there is a bathing salts there, and there's actually a silver dust on the uh, bench, which I completely missed, but we'll pick that up uh, in a second. Push the button to close the door, uh, just to... Um, I actually ended up hiding the wolfhound bodies, because I haven't been able to do this without some bodies being seen. And I was really perplexed, um, but obviously now I understand why, because I forgot to stash one of the bodies. <laughs> anyway, there's the hag pearl so grab that. Um, there's an upgrade at some point. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I've completed mission two, uh, but mission two, wow, it's sprawling. It's kind of like mission two from um, Dishonored 2. It's big. 
uh, I need to go back and have a proper look around. And there's so many little secret areas. There's the silver dust on the bench, so don't miss that. And then we're just going to repeat what we did before. Uh, so basically, grab all the glass things and just throw them um, until you alert people's presence. Get up on this pipe. This is one way to do it. You can chuck a hook mine just inside the door. You can see I got the prompt to knock him out as I was dropping down. So you can get them as they run under the pipes or just walk up and choke them out. Make sure you're ducked so that the people downstairs don't see you and then ditch the bodies along with the others. We're just going to rinse and repeat. Um, there's another one coming up there. So get back up on the pipe. Make sure you're ducked. Otherwise, they'll see you when you come up. There's a hook line to get the bookkeeper. He was the one who decided to come up this time. Now, he has got a note on him along with some coins. There we are. If you forget the combination again, tally the books over your desk. Maybe they'll uncover your memory. Uh, and that's the four, five ones. There's four books, then five books, then one book um, over his desk. So presumably that code doesn't change. At least it hasn't on any of the playthroughs I've done so far. Um, I realized I forgot to mention at the beginning. Uh, it's one painting, six bone charms, uh, 2,050 coins, of which 900 come from contracts. Uh, so there we are. Mm. Uh, there's another woman coming through. Uh, so choke her out or drop down and knock her out as she walks around. Uh, stash the body. You know the routine by now. Um, then we are going to go this way because the last three in there um, often don't wander towards the end enough. So if you go to this middle door here and then just chuck a bottle against there, um, you'll find that they come up around the back to investigate. And you can just stand up here uh, on the stairs as long as they're not running up. Um, so make sure you save before you try this because if they come running, it'll be a problem. But they should just end up walking along here, at which point you can zap them with an electrical stun line. There's some jelly deals there as well. Jelly deals. Uh, head up here, stash the body, repeat. Although actually you don't need to repeat at this point. Um, I should have grabbed that electrical charge as well. Uh, I chucked the chloroform to try and alert them to come up, but they're really not having any of it, I don't think. Um, so I checked down there, nothing. Uh, just be ready, because occasionally they will come up. Um, and then around here to make sure they weren't coming this way, but they weren't. And notice that you're in hostile territory here. So just make sure when you do the transition between hostile and neutral territory that you're crouched and no one's looking at you. But yeah, there are two uh, eyeless wandering around here. One's just sitting down chilling. Uh, and the other one for some reason is standing there. But at this point, um, you can, when there's only two left, chances are there's gonna be a time when they're not looking at each other. So just choke them both out at your leisure. Stash the bodies somewhere out of sight. Um, I'm just putting them in the corridor here. Uh, grab the other one. And most of these guys have whalebone on them. Willabane. Uh So, uh, which is good. I haven't found Willabane crafting or Bonecraft crafting yet, but I'm sure we will. Can you hear those dogs going mental? Um, open the cash register. There's some coins in there. There's a bone charm, some coins next to that. Uh, copper wire on the side here. Coins there where the guy was selling stuff at the bar and a silver dust over by the punch bag. There's a chart just there down at the bottom of the stairs, which I should have grabbed the first time. You should be up to 948 coins. There's a painting directly above the boxing ring, so jump to grab that, get it before you release Dowd, because for some reason, every time I've released Dowd, it's disappeared if I haven't already picked it up. Now, um, when you open this, for some reason, uh, sometimes, um, you'll get a kill. Uh, I don't know why. Um, there he is there. Uh, so after this cutscene, which is kind of interesting, so watch that and let it play out. Uh, check your stats and make sure you save before you pull the lever. Um, because you'll see here that for, I had one kill. I've had up to three kills there when I freed out. Again, I'm not sure why. Can't explain it. But just reload and try again and um, eventually you'll get zero kills. It's a weird one. Um, I posted on Reddit asking why. Lots of people haven't seen it at all, so I don't know. But anyway, after freeing down, get up here. Uh, and then we're going to head out this way. Now, there's a couple of ways to handle this. Now, don't forget to shut that door as well, otherwise they'll wander through to have a look and probably find the bodies in there. But pop up here, and uh, if you want to just head straight through and not worry about those three guards, drop down here, uh, through here, and there's two hounds. Now, you can shoot them with lethal force, uh, but make sure you get headshots, otherwise they're going to wake up, see you, and blow your ghost, which is no good at all. Uh, you don't have to shoot them, though, at all. Um, they are actually friendly wolfhounds, which is nice. Uh, now, if you want to take these guys out, one will come over here and stand and look over the edge. So as soon as he does that, there he is. There. Should have sped this bit up, shouldn't I? There he is. 
uh, choke him out, pull him back, and drop his body behind uh, the wheelie bin. It's not a wheelie bin. The the, the trash can thing skip. Um, and there's a guy wandering over here. I'm like, what body is he possibly seeing? I definitely stashed all those, but then obviously playing this content back, realized that I hadn't stashed all the bodies. Uh, but you can wander over here and pick him off. If not, he sort of wanders around this area anyway, so he's pretty easy to pick off. Uh, see, there's the civilian that I failed to stash, although his body's moved pretty substantially. I don't know what Dowd does when he's freed, but he likes to move bodies. Uh, anyway, choke that guard out. You can just leave him there. And then there is an elite over here. He'll be mucking around somewhere. But at this stage, it shouldn't be a problem to take out a single guard. I just ended up shooting him in the face. Uh, you can just walk around the back. You can uh, drop knock him out from on top of the hedge. There's a bunch of different things you can do. But either way, head back down this way. And as you'll see here, the wolfhounds don't attack if you don't provoke them. So best to leave them alone. There are the final two coins for the mission. Um, so you should be up to 11.50 now. Um, heading through here, there is a guard up here at the top of the stairs. He could be on the left or the right. So save before you get here. Uh, for me, he was on the left. If he's on the right, you can basically uh, go to the right, climb up on top of the building and drop down and knock him out from on top. Um, if he's on the left, do it this way. But either way, he's not really a problem. And again, you don't have to take this guy out really at all. You can kind of sneak past these guards. Uh, but head along this lip. You want to get up on this ventilation system up onto the roof here. And then there's two guards here, an elite and a regular. The elite wanders from the bench. Uh, you may be able to see us sitting down there. Um, all the way to more or less underneath where we're standing at the moment you'll see and the blue dude just wanders in a big circle um, now you can uh, shoot the blue dude when he goes off to the right behind the light with an electrical bolt um, you can shoot the woman when she's sitting down as long as they're not too close to each other I ended up shooting the blue dude in the corner there while the woman's over here and then you can just drop knock her out just about that was a bit of a cheeky angle honestly I was expecting to have to reload um, you might find it easier to sneak up behind her, but there you're basically done. Make sure you've got 1150 coins. Uh, if you haven't, go back and sniff out the ones you missed. I will do a, another video which covers the coins more slowly and in more detail. Um, and I'll probably do an optimized uh, run through as well. Notice that the graph drops down to the right there. Uh, it says I assaulted, even though I definitely got stealth because stealth was ticked. But six bone charms, 2050 coins, 2050 coins, and one painting. Two contracts and three special actions. I couldn't find any more. Burned milky, business rivals, and uh, hit the jackpot, I think it was. Anyway, on the left, uh, the Dishonored 2 videos, if you would like those. Um, I will link to the playlist. And on the right, Mission 2, although we haven't got to those yet. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Um, but I will crack into it tonight. I suspect it's going to take me a couple of days to work out all the details for that. But anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.